Okay, this is what I got rid of so far. And then I decided to get serious. So these are all the bins that were in the kitchen. This is current stuff. Not exactly, it's probably 2018, 2019. Because at the end of the year, I never finalized stuff. I just started a new basket. So, I'm going to be sitting here watching TV. Um, maybe not all today, but I got this table here. And then I figured, if we want to watch TV, I could push it out of the way. Over here. And then work on it. Little by little. Wasting all your thoughts just to criticize, but there are plenty more ways to think. I'm not pretending. I'm born like this, a game for the reckless. It's so extreme and I don't Okay, and uh, hiding in here is this. <laughs> Didn't tell you about that, but I'm just worrying about the current stuff. All of the previous years. Yeah. And then, don't gasp. That. And that. <laughs> Fun stuff. I just had an aha moment. <laughs> Not sure why I didn't think about this before. If any of you have watched my, um, 30 bags, the last 30 bags in 30 days, I think that was two years ago that I did. And I was working on paperwork and it was stressing me out and giving me anxiety. Well, I just had an aha moment. Duh, Michelle. So I'm keeping 10 years worth, which is what is what is in here. And I don't, I need to go through that. And some of that belongs here. So uh, I still need to sort through that. But as far as once I categorize, everything into years them up into years and then when the year comes that I need to throw this away like that's 2011 and um not I'm keeping 10 years so I can't throw that away yet but when the time comes I will go through it then that year and look to see if there's anything that I really need to save and if not throw the whole thing away yeah I think these ones are pretty good are pretty much uh need to you know their taxes and obvious there I don't think there's anything I need to save in there so yeah duh I've been working on this for a week or two so <laughs> kinda on the struggle bus so um so I went ahead and bought this at Michael's yesterday yeah I'm sure that's like a no no because I have plenty of things to put my stuff in but I just wanted some inspiration so I bought this because, um, hold on, because what I had was uh, all my stuff in here. So, but it don't stand upright, so I have to lay it down each time. And I am out of sight, out of mind. So why did I buy that? I don't know. So I thought, well, that's not gonna work. So on top of all of the things that I had filed that I'll need for this year was the current stuff that needed to be gone through you know that's not gonna work so I put it all in this basket and then put the basket on top of there and that's just too much and I want to alleviate this whole mess I did have all my vitamins here I put them over there now um and then this is just a catch-all I mean we all have catch-alls right that's what the basket was for but I want to start only putting papers in here bills and stuff in here and then this is catch-all for other stuff and i gotta figure out my receipts thing so i'm going to transfer all this stuff into here and kind of try to eliminate this basket and then i'll have this to do something else with i don't know what i'm doing guys so i watched minimal mom and she said before you go on to do, doing all your paperwork getting rid of it 
set up a new system and it is January and I need to set up a new system. Well, not a new system, but I mean, or could be a new system. I'm 55 years old. <laughs> Nothing for paperwork has really ever worked for me. Well, for a period of time, I was doing the binder thing. I had a filing cabinet and I transferred things to binders. That worked for a little while. Actually, it's only really been a problem for the last seven years since I had my thyroid cancer and the bottom fell out. So really I had, all right, I'm not gonna say I had a handle on it, but better than I, that I do now. So I need to set up for the new year and then when I have time, go through the rest of it little by little. That's why it's still sitting over there. All right, let me let me set this new system up. Okay, for done. So that's garbage. So I went through all this stuff and still managed to get rid of this garbage. This is pending stuff. So I'm not gonna fill this up with junk anymore. But I need this stuff that's pending to be out. You see, I have jury duty coming up apparently in March. Hopefully when I call, I won't have to do it. Anyway, I've done that recently. <laughs> they keep sending me it. Although I've only had to serve one time recently and, well, I don't know, that was a while ago. And then Ben, this will make the fourth time they sent it to me. And when I call, they say I don't need to come. Maybe that's why I keep getting it. And then this pile over here is my parents' stuff that I have to take over to my sisters so we can go through their bills and figure out what to do with those. And um, this stuff needs to go in the mailbox because it got delivered to us and it's for somebody in the street over from us. So this is what I got. And then this won't close, but whatever, I'll figure it out. That's because I have this stuff in Ziploc bags. This is what I um, kind of do is the previous year's stuff I put it in a Ziploc bag to store it. So it's already in here and um, some of it still needs to be, well not gone through, I need it all, but um, I'll go through it, be going through it again because of taxes. So that's just in the back here. And I actually have 2018 taxes here in case I need to reference them for this year's taxes. So that's what all I plan to keep in here is um, stuff for taxes um, from the previous year. And then obviously I can get rid of them when I do my taxes this year. We're not rid of them, but follow them somewhere else, which I do have a place for that, but all that needs to be gone through. Some of it, well, I don't know if some of it's over there. There's some still some stuff I need to go through there that might need to go in the tax bracket thing so in the front here i have my um budget binder that i'm currently using I haven't finalized that and a budget clipboard because i don't know where i'm going with that just yet um i have a planner thing so this is all my medical um i don't keep a lot of stuff a lot of stuff is um paperless billing but i do need to keep some stuff for business um, and I, and I do keep my medical stuff, so that's medical, and then this is the previous year's medical, in case I need to reference that, and then I, then I file it, actually, I probably don't need to keep but two years worth, it's all online, but some of it's bills I haven't paid yet, so anyway, and then that, this is bank, I don't know what to do with it, so that didn't even get labeled. And then this is household stuff. This is the AC um, warranty that we need to have and the Haverty's thing in there because we bought a couch that will be coming in two weeks. So that's that. And then these, this is business use of home. I have a website business plus YouTube goes on this too. So any receipts or whatever goes in there and then these are blank and then, yeah. So that's, that's good. So I am not gonna try not to junk up this anymore with crap. And instead I'm putting the crap down there. I need to take care of that. And the reason I have this stuff up here, cause if I put it in here, it'll be out of sight, out of mind. Now I'm thinking I want to move that over here, but that's the same thing. I need to have a constant reminder that it's you know right there and I need to take care of this stuff and put it in there. Do something with it, so we'll see how that goes. If I stay on top of it, then I can put this over there, and yeah. And probably a better idea to have that down there instead of a basket here and just piling crap in it and not taking care of it right away. But you see this, these are two purses, which I'm not currently using, 
Yeah, no, okay, wait. This is the purse that I'm using. This is a bad habit. Let me know. Raise your hand in the comments below. Use the raising hand symbol uh, emoji. If you switch out your purses, but you never clean out the previous purse. So that purse needs to be cleaned out. I probably should go through that purse. Something I need to do like every Sunday is sit down and go through this. And I don't make the time to do that because I procrastinate and because I hate doing this. I just hate it and stuff. And okay, in my current purse. Oh, no. See, that's my current purse. These are purses that I was using um, previously. So I need to go through them but and get rid of all the stuff in there and whatever. So that is it for now. Uh, that's a good start. And uh, I'll update you as I, uh, I don't know. We'll see if I update you or not. But that's my um, New Year start on paperwork, giving myself a fresh start. I will put a link down below to um, Minimal Mom, the app the video where she talks about having a fresh start with your paperwork, start from there, starting for you the new year system and worry about the rest of the paperwork later. All right, guys, until next time, enjoy your day and just keep swimming.